Okay, yeah, this is the multivigor. So, uh, this whole wall got sacked and needs to be fixed. And you can see there's a there's a lot of meat in here. There's a lot of meat. Now, this is from last time. Do we need to uh, cut any of this up? No, we have over 1,000 bug meat in storage. We do not need to do that. Uh, when Simon talks, he's playing Simon Says. Terrible joke. Okay, so let's see. We have enough lumber. Samantha, can you prioritize constructing the new wall? Because we've got a massive hole in our fence if something comes right now. All right, so Ken is salvaging. Laura is planting crops at the moment. Uh, Vivian is playing darts. Very helpful, Vivian. Good job. Show me that good aim. Simon working on research. What is the current research? Synthetic armor. That's fine. Uh... Hmm. Oh, did they finish with the uh, crafting synthetics from insect meat? Yes, they did. Okay, cool. We'll keep a hundred synthetics in stock. Aggressive. Oh, do, 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 do. Finish building the wall. This is not good. So, I believe last time, see, there's this right here. This is a fence. And this much taller one is a fortification. It has double the health, and it's also much taller. Um, n yeah, we're under attack. Crap. Okay. I have an idea. Who has the pulse rifle? Ken does. Ken, get in the tower. Everyone else get here, and then we're going to close the gate. And we're going to defend our base from the outside. It worked once. We'll try it again. Now the scary thing is these fellas. These these guys, the these are these are StarCraft's Ultralisk, and they're largely immune to the bear traps. Like 90% of the time when they walk over a bear trap, they just tippy toe over it and it doesn't it doesn't hit them. Sometimes it does, but it's rare. There's one beetle. Can you hit that? It's just like vibin'. Yeah, a Few of them got inside. Is Ken getting hit or is the tower getting hit? I can't tell. Ken, you gotta try to stun lock this guy with your pulse rifle. Okay, you all. Open the gate again. Laura. Oh, we didn't get Laura. Laura, come here. All right, Ken's tower was destroyed. He fell to the ground. He's fighting with a spear right now. All right, everyone. There's not many left. Come on. All right, so you four, undraft. Samantha and Laura tend to your own wounds. Ken, still need you. Three remaining. One remaining. Where is it? Right there. Okay. All right. Ken, focus on binding your own wounds. Okay. All right. We survived that. Um, do I want to butcher any insect meat? Again, we've got 1,200, although Junos give a ton of meat for a few seconds of, of butchering. Almost 50. So I'll, I'll butcher the Junos, but that's it. 
Samantha is having a food binge. So she's going to eat too much food, but that's fine. We have an abundance right now. We got a bunch of buttermelons. Well, they were in this field. They must be on the shelves now. Right here. Chat, can I interest you in a buttermelone? Dude, the smell of this place. <laughs> it's just giant dead bugs everywhere. Wait, Samantha says awaiting treatment. Didn't you take care of your own wounds a minute ago? Or did you pass out or something? I don't know what happened. These are her current injuries right now. She got she got nipped a lot. Not life-threatening, but lots of small... Oh, she's throwing up now. <laughs> she's like, oh my god. Alright, Simon and Ken are rearming the traps. Samantha should be prioritizing repairs and such. Af well, after she's done healing herself, she's she's dealing with that at the moment. Use the buttermelon for a helmet. I don't know how much that's gonna help. Speaking of helmet, though, let's check their gear. No jacket, uh, but he's fine temperature-wise. Laura, no melee weapon. Grab a spear, Laura. Uh, Vivian, grab one of the hats, and he's fine. How are we doing on fuel right now? 64. We're doing okay. Um, let's do a quick save and send Simon out to explore. How are folks getting along since Simon joined? You want to see the relationships? Uh, let's see. Ken hates Samantha. Everyone else is fine. Uh, Laura hates everyone. Samantha hates everyone more. Vivian hates everyone, but Simon's okay. Simon hates Samantha. Dude, Simon's been here five minutes, and he hates Samantha. Samantha's like, I guess, Karen or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, for some reason, she's just really easy to hate. Dude, even the house was, like, messed up. I guess some of the bugs got over here. Shooting star. I think those usually just give ore, which we're fine. Unfortunately, all of this just uses wood to repair, and we do have an abundance of that. Mm. New expedition site found. Go there immediately. I found a house. Roof half sunken, half covered with what looks like moss or slime, all around at a grisly site. Bones of various shapes and configurations, some crushed brutally. Uh, see if there's anything of use. There's a low combat skill, high risk of injury. I crept towards the house, making my way through the rattling bones and dry bushes. Inside I saw some of the sticky green substance covering the roof, a lot more bones, and the unpleasant smell of decay. All this mixed with pieces of broken furniture and burn marks on the walls. As I stepped further inside, some creature leapt over me and sank its teeth into my arm. I kicked and shook it off and ran for my life. Come back. Now, unfortunately... Oh, he's not bleeding. I was going to say, sometimes when they get injured, they're, like, bleeding on the way home. So, like, by the time they get here, they're actually much worse injured. Samantha, prioritize the wall, please. She'll do repairs and then construction after. So she's been doing repairs for a while, and there's still a few more things. But we need to get this hole patched. Otherwise, we end up with a weird defense like a minute ago. Uh, Simon, can you handle your own treatment? That way we don't interrupt what somebody else is doing. Give the man a juice box and an Avengers Band-Aid and he'll be fine. Pretty much. Like, he wasn't even bleeding. Simon's healing reached level 2. There you go. He knows which way the Band-Aid goes now. He knows it's sticky side down. A juice box and an Avengers Band-Aid. <laughs> we are very low on lumber. Uh, where's the nearest trees I can mark for chopping? Look at those. Can 
and mark that as checked off. Oh no, we're out of wood and there's just a little bit left of the wall. All right, hold on, Ken. Um, cut the fallen trees. We need a little bit of wood. And we've got two fields that grow trees repeatedly over and over, but none of them are fully grown yet. Tap that quick save. Haven't done it in a while. Simon's intellect reached level six. Scavenge 53, nice. Alright, nice. Okay, other than the gates, we've got a full fortification going down this wall with higher hit points. And the ranged bugs can't shoot over it. So that is a good step up. How much electronics do we have? Pretty much zero. We need to let Ken keep salvaging stuff as much as we can. Uh, is there anything new here? Spaceship debris. Shooting star. Trade ship debris. That's where you can just search for clothes over and over. It's on Simon, that one. Low on mushroom, second field might be a good idea. Um, well, it's winter, so they're not growing. Yeah, we're basically out of mushrooms. Yeah, we could do another glitter cap field. Whoa. I've dabbled in some advanced DIY and have a vague memory of how power cells are made. It should be possible to research them without a sample. You waited this long to tell? Unlocks power cell assembly with the decreased research time. I think it just does that if you don't happen to find any for long enough. All right, by your advice, chat, a second glitter cap field. Synthetic armor research complete. All right, so we can now use the synthetic cloth that we're getting from our breakthrough um, from insect meat, along with metal alloys to make synthetic jackets, which are the only jackets I believe in the game that give both cold resist and also heat resist somehow. So we're gonna queue up a few of those and stop making peasant, norm, normal peasant jackets. We don't need those anymore. We got the good stuff. Research diesel generators, expedition complete shooting star. Uh, found some chunk of a spaceship. I'll salvage it for scrap, okay. Vivian doing her tailor thing. Scavenge more scrap from Ken. Nice. Would like you to find some more electronics, but you know, you find what you find, I guess. Have we already researched all these animals? Ever gone scare by a man the lunch? Looks like it. Uh, Laura's reached physical level four. Okay. But you're back into it, Laura. The diesel generator, power cell generator, power switch, and low battery sensor plugged in. Uh, production, electric furnace. We've got an abundance of sticks right now. I think I can keep running off of an old-fashioned furnace and just burn sticks for it for the moment. Because our electric grid is pretty puny right now. Hopefully we'll fix that in time. And once we get more lumber, we want to expand the base. What is this waiting on to fix? Oh, glitter caps. Yeah, we don't have more glitter caps. Uh, let's see. Is 
This is all, yeah, this is outside the field. Okay. Uh, big broadleaf trees, cut them down. Fallen tree, ore deposit. Let's grab all of that. Scavenge to CPU core. Nice. We don't need it right this second, but they're not common. We've only got two now. What is our draw on the power grid right now? Oh, there's no sunlight right now, so we're getting a little bit of wind. We could do more lights. Hold on, what does this to require to make one? Ten metal alloys? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that landed really close. Okay, well, a bunch of meteors just fell, uh, so we can add mining that ore to the queue. And there is 139 bugs and three brood mothers on their way. Okie dokie! I mainly fear the brood mamas. Alright, quick save now, just in case the worst happens. The little ones will all die to the flamethrowers if we can funnel them. If we funnel them, it's fine. More ore. As long as it doesn't land on my head. Floodlight. <laughs> They're coming for New Year's to celebrate? Yeah. Alright. Da 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 da. You guys come here. Ken, get in the tower for now. Uh, Laura. Wait. Oh, is Samantha not the one building? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so the beetles are faster than the broodmothers, so the beetles are arriving first. TJ Mock. Where is Ken? Oh god, Ken was really far away. Welcome to Hell Alley, Chub. Oh shoot, that's good. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, Ken is getting shot at by the Broodmothers. He's already taken a major puncture in his left arm. So we are getting him down off of the high ground. All right, duck around the corner so they lose line of sight. See if they walk into the flamethrowers. They do. Beauty. Nice. Okay. Um, Ken, fix your arm. And during the fight, I accidentally clicked to close the gate. I'm going to tell them to reopen the gate. And we'll butcher just the broodmothers because they give 50 meat each, which is like a whole bunch of the little bugs. Easy clap, maybe too easy. <laughs> they get, it gets more difficult. It gets more difficult. And I've I've got a pretty good system set up. I'm sure they are better, but I, I've, I've got something that works. Oh man, you may not have been here. The, the other day, I had one where it was like 300 bugs were chasing me, and they were all like the teenager version of these. And I was like running and kiting, 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 and mucking lightning hit me. Just like God said F you in particular, and literally I just got hit by lightning. <laughs> it was so stupid. 
I, I and I, I had to reload that one like four times before I could get past it because it was like I had one flamethrower with half fuel. The other three were destroyed, and I just had like 80 hydralis chasing me. And I was like, run, 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 lightning bolt. Watching the temperature. Hopefully, no one dies. Where is Ken? He's right here. Hold on. Ken, can you uh, open the gate back up? Because you guys are taking the long way around while it's in the queue. There we go. God, upstairs, 360 no scope. <laughs> you say there are flyers on this moon? Uh, I, I now believe there's flyers on all of them. However, on Desertum, it's like there's no flyers for like a year or two, and then suddenly you get hit with 200 of them. Like, you see no sign of them, and then one of those attacks where, you know, it just like spawns a bunch and then they rush you, it, it, they'll come like in that fashion. So I, I think it's best to assume that there will always be eventually flyers. Actually, hold on. Simon, cancel that. What is Laura doing? The fields are all frozen. So, I don't think... She's got high combat, not great physical skill. Ken has combat and fizz. Oh man, honestly, Ken's the best option to go, but... We need him. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, check this out, Ken. It's like, Ken's the best person to go on the blimp, but he's also the best person to be scavenging, but for the moment, because I, I don't want to, like earlier I sent Simon and he had low low, uh, low combat skill, so he did badly in the little um, text game. It's like, you want someone with good combat and good physical both if possible. How's the temperature in the house? 58 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's 26 outside, that's pretty good. Um, let's see, Samantha, grab a synthetic vest, he's still got a spaceship jacket, you can't make more of these, you can only find them uh, in the wreckage, but Simon um, just recently crashed on the planet, so he's still got his spaceship clothes, which are like top tier, until they dissolve, and then he's just like, boof, naked, everybody's favorite. When I've got a lot of lumber piled up, I'm going to expand the base again. I was originally going to expand it right here next, but then there was an attack where a bunch spawned here, and I'm afraid of them spawning in my base. I don't know if they can do that. CPU assembly research complete. Um, let's do brick rooms and then concrete. Spaceship Debris Expedition. I found scrap metal and summer clothing. And he brings back a lot of scrap, so that's good. So Laura, for whatever reason, already has a really high combat skill. I'm just hoping her physical levels up again from doing tasks so that she'll be good to go on the blimp as well so they can take turns. Oh, here we go. All right, quick save. What are we dealing with? 76 shriek... Uh, okay, hold on. 13 shriekers. Those are ranged attackers. It's like uh, the broodmother, but smaller. 63 hatchlings. Those are melee. 11 explosive scarabai. Those are banelings. Uh, sometimes they make it more dangerous, sometimes they make it easier, because if you shoot them while they're in the middle of the horde, they'll detonate and hurt the enemy. And they can chain and explode, too. Laura a little 
nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I'm getting a little nervous about how far away she is. Also, our person with the stun gun is on a mission because I'm smart. So, Samantha, you have a laser pistol. You can get up there. The others have bows. Okay, Laura made it back in time. That's good. All right. All right, fortunately, the Baneling guys are some of the faster ones. The Shriekers, the fully grown sh Shriekers, are lagging behind a little bit, which is good for me. All right, Ken just got back. Now, at some point, one of them is going to make a move to start shooting Samantha, I'm sure. There, I just saw... I ju This one here is shooting at Sam. So she's going to climb down and come back over here. Okay, they're shooting at us now. Let's see if we can bait them into the flamethrowers. Or if they start attacking the flamethrowers, we have to run back out and attack them back. They're hitting the flamethrowers. Okay, so now we engage again. This one's caught in a trap. Okay, Samantha, what did she get hit in? Her left, her, her arm, her arm. Okay, how's uh, insect meat? We have over a thousand insect meat. All right, so I'm probably not gonna spend any time uh, butchering right now. Okay. <sighs> There's like almost 200 bugs right here. <laughs> the game's like actually getting a little choppy when I focus on that. There's so much to render. Good morning. Hello, Shiggy, how you doing? Wait, what? Simon, heal yourself. Samantha is recovering. She's already healed. She's just recovering. So her health is healing, but it's, she needs to lay down for it to happen quickly. Simon gave himself an infection because he's so bad at medicine, he hurt himself worse. <laughs> oh, no. You're dumb. Wait, what? Yeah, his healing skill was really low. So he, uh, he he messed himself up a little bit. Send Ken out again. Now, I know at some point, if I make this chunk of the fence too long, like if I try to go full tower defense here and make a maze, they get frustrated and they just start punching through the walls. So you can make a little bit of a, you know, like a bait, but uh, you can't go too hard with it. Like I can't just make like a zigzag or have it spiral around the base 40 times. Like they will just be like, screw you and just start punching through the walls. Instead of fixing himself, uh, I mean, he gave himself an infection. Like it's an infection. Maybe he just didn't clean the wound properly or something, right? That's how I think about it. Are you likely to get the maps for carbon walls? Yeah, there's a couple ways to do that. Um, you can research nanotubes printing, which is right behind me right now. Uh, and it makes carbon nanotubes out of other materials. It just takes time. Um, or you can attack a bug nest. Um, can I find one to show you? You can attack a bug nest and if you destroy it, you can mine it and you get a material that's basically, a, you know, the, it's interchangeable with carbon nanotubes. Uh, here's one right here, insect nest. If we destroy this, then you can mine it. But it's also a very long run from our base. Literally rubbed dirt in it. Yeah, he didn't wash his hands with the not soap we don't have. Expedition complete. Found scrap metal and a sealed crate of ale. Oh, great. Everyone's going to get drunk now. <laughs> I can forbid them drinking it, but it'll probably increase their happiness. Calm and cold. Yeah, I can't imagine that any of you have the cold. That sounds preposterous. 